on the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield. This is the Fight for Iowa podcast brought to you by Athletico Physical Therapy, proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Big Ten Conference. hy V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. Iowa's corn farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and Iowa Corn Promotion Board. You may think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is corn grows Iowa. Shields, we're right there with you in Des Moines, Sioux City, Iowa City, and Cedar Falls. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. This is the Fight for Iowa podcast. Here's the voice of the Hawkeyes, Gary Dolphin. The Hawkeyes' top-ranked field hockey team opened Big Ten play last weekend with a hard-earned 2-0 victory over 14th-rated Michigan in Ann Arbor and now welcomes 11th-rated Ohio State and Michigan State to Grant Field Friday and Sunday. The Hawkeyes have been ranked for 78 consecutive polls and are 9-0 and with seven shutouts. The Fight for Iowa podcast is sponsored by UIHC, Iowa Corn, Shields, and Atletico. Coach Felisa Salucci joins us on this week's show following this brief timeout. More of the Fight for Iowa podcast after this. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bowes, pediatric neurologist with the University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. Get in the game with Hawk Talk. Join Coach Kirk Ferentz and host Gary Dolphin for 90 minutes of Iowa football talk. Wednesday, 6.30 to 8 Central. Listen live on the Hawkeye Radio Network and Iowa Hawkeye's YouTube channel. Presented by View Rooftop. Kids eat free in September at Wahlburgers at Hy-Vee to celebrate National Family Meals Month. That's right. Get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree. Kids 12 and under can choose from favorites like a burger and fries grilled cheese, chicken tenders, and more. Bring the family together. Dine in at Wahlburgers at Hy-Vee and get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree every day in September. Dine in only. Some restrictions apply. See store for details. Now back to the Fight for Iowa podcast. Here's the voice of the Hawkeyes, Gary Dolphin. Iowa field hockey's unbeaten season and number one ranking includes seven shutouts. An airtight defense and goaltender Mia Magnata has made for quite the combination. Iowa can score, too, led by the sensational freshman Dion Van Alsom, twice the Big Ten Offensive Player of the Week. The 25-person roster is dotted with only five seniors. Tenth-year head coach Lisa Salucci wasn't calling this a rebuilding year. It never is for the Hawkeyes, but this? To be honest, slightly unexpected just with how the youth that we have on the team, but we got off to a great start at the ACC Big Ten Challenge and we haven't looked back. We have, uh, you know, seven veterans that are, you know, consistently in the starting lineup, um, but just a whole slew of, of veterans that are, are helping on, on board our uh, eight freshmen. Um, and the freshmen just have come in with great confidence, talent, um, and, and have really meshed well. And that's kind of been our secret right now is the chemistry that we have going on the field. It, it is amazing. Iowa leads the nation in winning percentage, obviously. Six shutouts, shutouts per game, uh, scoring margin of four and a half goals, scoring average nearly five goals a game. Uh, it's incredible, and it goes on and on. Goals against average. So you're getting it done in the net and in the offensive end. Yeah, typically we are definitely usually defensive stalwarts. That's been a hallmark of Iowa field hockey for a long time. Um, what's different for us this year is we're scoring goals at a really um, great clip, and a lot of that is, is due to De- uh, Dion Van Alsom. Uh, she has been fantastic. She sure has, and then some. And uh, uh, Dion Van Alsom, freshman, has been named the National Field Hockey Coaches Association Offensive Player of the Week after recording five goals and four assists in a pair of wins last weekend. I'm chuckling because uh, there are a lot of good players don't get five goals in a season. Yeah, that's true. And, sure. and she got five in one week. Uh, it's the second week in a row for the native of the, the Netherlands uh, that she's been awarded the honor. And the third time for the Hawkeyes this season, Richard sophomore Mia Magnata, your goalie, yep. uh, uh, was named Defensive Player of the Week back in late August. Now, Dion Van Olsen leads the nation. Now, listen to this. 
21 goals, 46 points, uh, two and a half goals a little above that per game, and f uh, almost six points per game. So she's assisting as well as she's scoring. Yeah, I mean, just this weekend was a great example. She had numerous opportunities to, to score herself, and she set her teammates up, which is, you know, the, the great making of a great player and great teammate. Um, and she is on pace to rewrite record books in Iowa field hockey history. And knowing our the dominance and the players we've had go through here, um, that's saying something. But we, we just hope she can continue this clip, that's for sure. My associate head coach is from England, and he has some great contacts um, over in Holland and England and in Belgium. And, um, he, he got a tip from one of his one of his friends, and he went over and saw her play. And then, you know, a whole slew of schools were interested, um, and we were actually the only ones who offered her an on-campus visit, believe it or not. Uh, and so she oh. came out, and you know, we sh we showed her what Iowa City has to offer, and these great fans, and all the great resources, and she was sold. And so all of those other coaches have called me since and said, "We can't believe we didn't bring her out." How about Mia Magnata, your Richard sophomore? Uh, Pennsylvania yep. uh, youngster. Uh, she's really emerged because she had to wait her turn, didn't she? She did, yeah. She was one of the best goalkeepers in the country last year, but she was sitting behind an All-American, uh, Grace McGuire, and then unfortunately Grace got hurt uh, right in the Big Ten tournament, and Mia had to step in for the biggest three games of her life, the Big Ten quarterfinals and then the NCAA Sweet 16 and the Elite Eight, and she was unbelievable. So um, she stepped up to the challenge, and she's been fantastic this year. Miranda Jackson from the UK, she's been, she's been scoring some goals for us, setting up Dion really well. Um, Gia Wellen from Pennsylvania, she's our defensive center mid. So we have our attacking center mid, our defensive center mid, our freshman, our left mid, um, Leva Van Kessel, who was playing. Uh, they're all doing a, a fantastic job. I've been so impressed just with their poise, um, their hockey IQ, and their ability just to rise on the stage every day. Field hockey is one of the most popular sports in the world. Um, you know, you go over to the Netherlands and you watch a field hockey match, like a World Cup game, and there's 40, 50,000 people in the stand. So, you know, it's played played in all over Europe. Um, and so these women, if they can combine their education and athletics over here, uh, they get a great opportunity in the States. Now, for people that might be learning about field hockey for the first time, is it set up like hockey? Is there an offsides? Is there a blue line? I know there's not a blue yeah. line on the field, but a similar offside line. You know, there used to be. The offsides went away actually when I was playing in 1995. So there are no longer offsides just to help the scoring increase. Set up a lot more like soccer positionally. So um, forwards, gotcha. midfield. Fielders, defenders, goalkeepers, 11 on a side. Um, it just we play on watered AstroTurf, so it is fast, a little bit different, um, and a really fast game of 60 minutes. In her 24th year as a player and coach at Iowa, Lisa Salucci has been a part of 287 victories and the only field hockey mentor to be named Big Ten Coach of the Year for three consecutive seasons. I'll have more Fight for Iowa podcast in a minute. More of the Fight for Iowa podcast after this. You don't have to go to the game to get a game program. You can download it now by visiting the game day page on HawkeyeSports.com. That's right. The game program is now digital and it's free. So check it out. Get the roster, the stats, and fascinating stories about today's matchup. Just go to HawkeyeSports.com and click on game day. Hey, Hawkeyes fans, it's time to gear up for the season, so let's do it right. Jerseys, hats, hoodies, and more. Shields has everything you need to show your Iowa pride. Visit our fan shop online or in-store for the biggest and best brands in the game. You'll find the right gear to level up your team spirit with all the essentials for your pregame parking lot party. Shields, proud partner of Iowa athletics and football fans everywhere. Oh, you know that old injury of yours, the one in your knee or maybe back? Instead of going to the doctor and then doing physical therapy, why not start with therapy first? Athletico Physical Therapy is changing the whole healing process around. Their physical therapist will find the source of your pain and help fix it. Start with them and start living pain-free. Ah, just like that. It all starts with Athletico Physical Therapy. Schedule your free assessment at athletico.com. No prescription needed. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Upgrade game day with Hawkeye Village. Get game tickets, pregame extravaganza, all you can eat, drinks, and more. Perfect for groups or families. Limited availability. Call 800-424-2957 or email group-sales at hawkeyesports.com. Join the Hawkeye excitement at Hawkeye Village. All right. Touchdown, Iowa! Hawkeye fans, put on your black and gold and get ready to fight, fight, fight for Iowa. 
Johnson gets the corner turn. He's heading for the end zone. 10 5, touchdown. Touchdown, Iowa. The Hawks are looking to black out Kinnick Stadium this weekend against Michigan State. Join us Saturday. Our coverage begins at 4 30 on the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield. Now back to the Fight for Iowa podcast. Here's the voice of the Hawkeyes, Gary Dolphin. Iowa hosts Michigan State in the blackout game Saturday night at Kinnick Stadium. The Hawks are anxious to play anybody after the one-sided loss at Penn State. Guard Nick DeYoung said the film sessions this week uh, were good learning. I mean, it was a, it was a good session. Um, you know, a lot of good things to learn from. Obviously, um, you know, things we'd like to do better. And, you know, the nice thing about that is... Um, it, it's really easy to come out to the field then and know exactly you know what you what you got to work on to be able to to come out the next time and and perform better. Yeah, I mean certainly that that's one thing that you know you're always trying to to chase is consistency. But um, you know like like I've been saying, it's really you know just the, just the base fundamentals and and doing what we know how to do and. And yeah, just doing them, doing them over and over again, week in and week out. The Hawkeye offense gained only 76 yards against a stout and top 10 ranked Penn State defense. The Iowa defense, especially linebacker Nick Jackson, is watching a lot of tape on Michigan State's quarterback Noah Kim, who's thrown for 900 yards and six touchdowns and a dangerous run game spearheaded by tailback Nate Carter's five yard per carry average. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think that he's really mobile in the pocket, and then their running back is he's dynamic, makes some plays. They have a big tight end. They have a good receiving core. I mean, we're getting into that spot where there's Big Ten football. Michigan State, they're historically, there's always been a good team, and they always will be a good team. So, I mean, uh, we're, we mean, we got we got some stuff to work on, and uh, we know that we have to stop the run. We know we have to make plays on the ball in the pass game. So, uh, they're a good football team. They, they do a lot of stuff uh, outside zone-wise. and. Jackson had a season-high 13 tackles at Penn State. I'll be right back on the Fight for Iowa podcast. More of the Fight for Iowa podcast after this. How would you like to be able to listen to the Hawkeye Radio Network while synced up to your TV in the comfort of your own home? Go to SyncMyGame.com to find out how. That's SyncMyGame.com. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fanofcorn. When you're out of town and want to keep up with the Hawkeyes and other college sports, be sure to download the new Varsity Network app. Available for both Apple and Android. Listen to college sports live with the Varsity Network app. Now back to the Fight for Iowa podcast. Here's the voice of the Hawkeyes, Gary Dolphin. Iowa women's soccer is home this Sunday to face Rutgers in the annual pink game for breast cancer awareness. Kickoff will be at noon at the Iowa Soccer Complex on the West Campus. That's our show for this week. Thanks so much for listening to the Fight for Iowa podcast. I'm Gary Dolphin. As always, go Hawks. You've been listening to the Fight for Iowa podcast. Hawkeye fans, remember to hit the subscribe button on your favorite podcast app. Once you become a Fight for Iowa podcast subscriber, you'll automatically receive the latest episodes of the Fight for Iowa podcast, the Herkey's Voice podcast, Hawk Talk replays, exclusive game day content, and more. Until next time, on Iowa and go Hawks! The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network.